Hello MBBs, welcome back to my channel and for the new viewers, my name is Ruth and this is my channel. Today I want to show you how I'm going to prepare this skin uh, mask for your face which will reduce the pores and also give you a nice glow. If you are not following me yet, I hope you are going to subscribe by the end of this video. Let's see what it is. The first ingredient I'm going to show you is Roboist tea. Roboist tea is original from South Africa. It tastes delicious and is also very good for the skin when you apply it when you apply it on it. It contains is very rich in alpha hydro hydroxide and zinc, which are very good to keep the skin healthy. It helps in healing the skin and it is also anti-aging. That's because zinc is the one that heals the wounds and it also protects against UV rays and is anti-inflammatory. So this is all this together makes it a great ingredient for the skin. So when I read about it, I was like, I have to find a way to incorporate it in my skincare aside from, you know, drinking it. And it, it, it also can be, it, it can be used uh, effectively as an exfoliator and a scrub, which will help to get rid of the older layers of the skin cells to reveal new skin. The second ingredient I'm showing you is green tea and green tea is one of the best ingredients to firm the skin. It prevents wrinkles and provides intense nourishment and hydration. Green tea contains vitamin E that is known for its ability to nourish and hydrate the skin. It, only, uh, it not only moisturizes the skin but also brightens and repairs it. So it's good to drink it and it's also good to apply it on the skin directly. Other properties of green tea is anti-inflammatory, is a natural sunscreen, is a natural acne treatment, it gives natural, it, it, it naturally a skin toner, is a gentle moisturizer, and it's great skin exfoliant, and it's also anti-aging. So that's why I'm like, since I do drink, so I've already prepared the tea. So this tea is a mix of the green tea and rhubarb tea. I prepared it normally as you would drink a tea and then I let it sit for about 24 hours so that it will get super, super infused. And this is the color. You can see how rich it is. We are going to use this with another ingredient. So check it out. So the third ingredient is curcuma or turmeric, which we all know for, you know, cooking, but it also adds natural glow to the skin. It treats acne, breakouts. It helps with atopic dermatitis and also psoriasis, which I'm very interested in. It also slows down skin aging and it reduces dark cycles. I also read that it moisturizes dry skin, you know, and these are all things that I'm very interested in. And it also has anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial and antioxidant properties, which, you know, helps to manage all those skin's issues because it has a bioactive component, which is called curcumin, which is what makes the magic. The fourth ingredient you all know about it is Katira. I've been using Katira since um, September of 2020 and uh, I'm just in love with it. Gaunt Katira has anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties that works on fine lines and wrinkles. It also benefits uh, for pimples, uh, uh, wound healing and spot reduction. It also helps to get rid of acne, break out skin pigmentation and burns. So to use it on the skin, it is very good, not only on the hair. So it's a sap, okay, and it comes out like this in forms of something like pearls and it's hard. But look at the magic that this ingredient is going to do. So let me start with pouring out the tea from my kettle. So as I said before, in this mix, there are rhubarb tea and green tea that have been infusing for 24 hours. So it is very, very potent. I'm weighing it just to show you um, the measurements, but uh, normally I've stopped weighing, you know, uh, my ingredients. So here we have about 
280 grams uh, of uh, tea that we are going to use this is a lot okay but i like to prepare my things in batch so the second ingredient i'm going to add is the curcuma or the turmeric um I just decided to put like few spoons but um, the measurement is uh, as I said is it's really very casual okay so when I was stirring it I noticed that it wasn't blending it so easily so I was like okay I have to blend it to make sure that it gets uh, all dissolved in the water properly so after the first spoon I'm like, let me add another one, you know, just to make sure that I'll get the benefit because the main ingredients that I want to use among all these is the turmeric. I want to see the benefits of the curcuma. I've been seen online, many people using it for years, but I never attempted to use it. And um, I'm like, okay, if I'm going to use it, then I'm going to combine the different properties, you know, of the different ingredients that um, I know. So after mixing it and making sure that it was completely uh, dissolved in the water then I got ready with um, the other ingredients so katira is the ingredient that is going to do the magic over here and you actually have to add around three four grams each for it each, each hundred grams of liquid so it's supposed to be around 12 grams of um, katira and uh, yes that was 12, 12 grams of katira then you let it sit for about 24 hours and this is how it's going to turn yes the katira is going to absorb the liquid and um, it's going to swell up and turns like um, ice that has been grained you know it's very nice because you can actually create any liquid that you want any mixture that you want and then add your katira bear it in mind that the more uh, ingredients you add the more katira you have to add in order for it to absorb the liquid so the second step is uh, to mm, blend the katira and when you blend it it's going to be transformed into a gel um, keep it in mind that you have to really fill the container of the blender if not it's not going to blend well so I didn't add everything in it but we are going to do it step by step uh, when you blend it it just takes like few seconds not even up to a minute I have to confess and um, you will see it changing right under your eyes it's going to turn into a beautiful gel that can be applied on your face on your body and in your hair so this is how it looks as you can see you have to make sure it blends very well there should be no clumps of um, katira uh, left uh, in it so that you know the application is going to be very easy so it didn't blend throughout to the down but i'm going to take uh, away the top okay so that i can add the rest of the katira in the in the container of the blender and make sure that it remains full for the blending you know you have to make sure it's full if not it's going on it's not going to blend so this time around i let it blend for uh, a longer period so that all of it could be blended into this beautiful and soft um uh, cream or gel i should call it so this is how it looks you can see how smooth it is i love it when it's this smooth so i'm going to share it into this ice cube container that's because i'm not going to use all of it at once you understand so i'm going to use it um initially i wanted to use it once or twice a week but now i even use it three to four times a week so i'm going to put this in the refrigerator and every time i need one i will just pop it out and keep it into the in the fridge until i finish using it so one uh, cube i normally use it up to two three times so yes you don't really need a lot a lot a lot of it to have to see its effectiveness so this is how it looks very nice i love it this is going to last to last me a very long time i've been using it now for the past six weeks and i still have a lot so here i am i am ready to use this face mask the one that is left in the container i already washed my face with african black soap 
okay so i just wet my face again so that i can apply it on on damp skin then i just go ahead and apply it on my skin i don't just apply it to my skin but i massage it into my skin properly because you know everything we are going to use especially when it is natural you need to make sure that it really penetrates the skin and the hair so whatever thing you are applying on your skin and hair that is natural make sure that it really goes in so i just went ahead and applied it all over my face obviously you can use this um in actually all your all your body as well not only your skin <laughs> So this is me after the application of the uh, mask and I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes. Here it is. After even less than 20 minutes, I've seen that some parts have dried out and some parts were still uh, not dry. Uh, you can wait for it to dry completely or after 10 to 15 minutes, you can rinse it uh, out so i rinse it out using my loofah sponge because you know to rinse out um the catira gel from your skin might take a little bit of time if you use only your hands so i decided to use the sponge to make it you know uh, faster so i use warm water to remove it from my uh, skin then after the warm water i'll go ahead and rinse my skin once again using only cold water in order to close my pores So after the rinsing out, make sure you rinse everything out properly. If not, your towel is going to turn yellow. So after the rinse out, I go ahead and moisturize my skin using my mix of um, shea butter and uh, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, almond oil, and um, what else? Lately, I've also added uh, castor oil and I'm really loving it. So I apply it on my skin as usual. I don't just apply it to my skin, but I make sure to massage it right into my skin so that it will keep it moisturized, soft and protected the whole of the day, especially during this uh, winter time, despite we are having good temperatures. So when I finish applying this, I check my skin and I was amazed. You know, natural products normally take times. So you need to use it for several weeks before you see effects. But this very time, I saw effects immediately. On my cheeks, I, I have been seeing that my pores were more enlarged and when i checked my pores guys it was not enlarged any longer i was shocked because i didn't expect any uh, immediate effects but i was expecting to you know to have to use it for several weeks but i noticed immediately that my skin was first of all very soft very elastic and the pores the pores on my cheeks were close so i was like wow this is going to be great and um since i recorded this video six weeks have passed i've been using this max regularly and i've seen many of you in the comment section uh, yeah this is how happy i was i've seen some of you in the comment section telling me that i'm glowing and my skin is looking nice well i have to tell you it's a mix of this of this treatment combined with i always scrub my face with african black soap then i use this mask then i massage my skin with the 
a mix of shea butter as i've told you and my skin is really reacting very well i've not had uh, dermatitis and psoriasis break out throughout this um these weeks and my skin looks really moisturized not dry on my around my mouth on my nose and on my um forehead so this is the mix i've used and i really love it if you want to try it you can go ahead let me know in the comment section what are the products that you normally use up to now i've used almost half of this container so i still have uh, at least other two and a half months to be using this um, product so this is all if you like this video make sure you follow me and you also put a like i'll be very glad to see you in my next video always remain natural black and beautiful